The XP80 has a very important feature known as the sound palette, which allows us to modify any of the sounds we're playing in real time during live performance. We can address various parameters, and these are defined by these two buttons up here. Okay, well, let me draw your attention to the display. I've called up a sound here, which is user 015, exactly the same in your machine, so try it out. And it sounds like this. Great sound, and it's made up of four tones, four elements, if you like. And the reason I know this is because the display shows tone one, two, three, four. So this pack uses all four tones. Now, if I go over to my sound palette and I press the button mark level, it immediately turns these controls into level faders, one for each of the four tones. So let's whack these ones down, leaving just number one. Bring it down, fade up number two, three, and four. Showing me the four component tones of the patch. So I can rebalance the patch if I need to, live. Alternatively, let's press this button instead, filter envelope. Now the four controls give me access to changes of cutoff frequency of the filter, the resonance of the filter, and also the attack and decay times of the envelope of the sound. What is a filter? Well, a filter is a simple process whereby certain frequencies can be emphasized or de-emphasized. And the strength or effect of that process is controlled by the resonance here. So let me play the sound and change the cutoff frequency of the filter, making it brighter or darker. Or the resonance, this makes the sound much more peaky. If I now change the cutoff again, you hear a much more intense effect. Back off the resonance, and we get a more mellow effect. Okay, let's just reduce that and open the cutoff. Now I'm going to alter the attack time of the sound. You can see, as I increase the attack time, the sound fades in. Or a very short attack the sound starts instantaneously. And the same can be done with the decay. If I increase the decay, it means that when I release the key, the sound carries on playing for a predetermined amount of time. That's a long decay, short decay. And so on. So a very handy tool. But bear in mind that all of these changes are just temporary. If I reselect the patch, then all of these changes are lost.